Today we have Thurston County Manager Ramiro Chavez to talk about the implementation of Phase 2 of the relaxation of the shelter-in-place order. Hi, Ramiro. Thanks for joining us today. Hey, Robert. How are you? Pretty good. So uh, Thurston County Health Authority Dr. Yu has determined that the county moved forward to Phase 2 of the relaxation of the shelter-in-place order. How does that affect the services provided by the county? Yeah, uh, maybe I can uh, walk you through um, the, the steps that we took to get into phase two. Um, okay, let's start the, there. And I think it, it will be important to uh, walk through the, that process and, and the requirements. One of the first steps, uh, as you stated, Dr. Yu, our uh, interim health officer, has to, had to agree that in fact, we're ready uh, to move into phase two. So the next step in the process, what we did is I, I convened a emergency uh, uh, meeting by the Board of Health because the Board of Health has to take a legislative action to concur with the health officer advice. Then uh, that particular legislative action by the Board of Health needed, needed to be reaffirmed by the uh, Thurston County Board of County Commissioners, which uh, uh, that took place uh, last Tuesday on the 26th, I believe, uh, the, uh, the Tuesday before, um, on May 26th. So in the meantime, uh, we were working on this application and the application is, is comprehensive um, and, and really is uh, related as to how the county is prepared to respond to a potential um, spike on, on the cases. It requires for us to coordinate uh, uh, capacity with the uh, local hospitals, which we needed to secure letters of commitment from the two hospitals, which we did. And also we needed to ensure that in fact, that response in terms of contact tracers, uh, we have enough capacity to do so. And also one of the key elements at that time was uh, that we, need, we didn't have uh, more than 10 cases per 100,000 population. Um, uh, that was the threshold uh, back then. Since uh, that has changed um, in as uh, uh, 25, less than 25 cases per 1,000, uh, 100,000 population. So that is something uh, that we met um, and uh, we submitted the application on Tuesday afternoon at the 26th of May. And, um, and we needed to make sure that we cross all the T's and dot all the I's in a way. And soon after the Board of County Commissioners took the legislative action to support that, we submitted the application and, and, and sure enough, uh, in less than 24 hours, we got the approval to move into phase two. Now the, the 10 per 100,000, or the, now it's 25 per 100,000, that's in a two week period, is that correct? In a, four, in a 14 day period. Yeah, okay. Right. All right. And so, uh, <laughs> Oh, is the public allowed in county buildings now? Do you have county buildings open and is the courthouse open? What does that look like no, now in phase uh, two? They, uh, what we call is the public facing, meaning open the county facilities as a whole, um, is under phase three. Okay. And uh, so we need to apply um, to phase three. And the soonest that we can submit an application for the, um, uh, this, uh, the uh, Secretary of Health to consider Thurston County moving to phase three will be June 17. Uh, we are in the process just to make sure that we do everything that we can to be ready to submit that application on, on, on June 17. I still have to look at the criteria uh, that will be required. So we're working on that and assessing uh, what we need to do um, to move into the next phase. So at that time, and, and, and phase three is where uh, all county offices will be open. There is some offices like the courts have been open in a, in a restricted schedule. In this past Monday, they open from uh, regular hours um, <clears throat> in uh, Superior Court uh, for the most part. And, um, but they're not conducting any, any uh, trial um, cases at this point. Uh, they issue an order. Um, they will delay any, uh, any jury trial, uh, sorry, jury trial cases um, till July 6, 2020. And that becomes a little bit of a challenge, obviously, um, uh, from the infrastructure point of view, we have been uh, coordinated with Superior Court um, and see how we can facilitate um, they uh, conducting jury trials um, 
uh, yet maintaining a six foot uh, social distancing. Mm -hmm. and, and, and if you are if you are ever been in a in a courtroom, uh, the social distancing has become a challenge. Yeah. And uh, and also if we were to go through a jury selection, in some cases they bring um, you know depending on the case, 100, 150 potential jurors. We have room where here, here in the building one um, where we have that jury selection process going. And that room itself cannot accommodate that number of individuals, uh, potential jurors practicing social distancing. So we're looking for some options uh, right now. And, um, and, and, it, and again, we'll continue to do whatever we can um, uh, to prepare ourselves internally uh, as to when we open the, um, the buildings to the public. And in fact, I just had a meeting with um, the, the county auditor, the county treasurer, and the county assessor, which they have offices here in building one on the first floor as to how we're gonna be working on a circulation type of approach um, and, and, and yet protecting obviously the, the citizens who come here to uh, conduct business as well as our employees. And, and, and overall, uh, I think uh, all of us need to be part of this long-term solution um, as to how we're gonna be able to move forward and start opening um, our economy. Mm -hmm. Now, so we're on schedule June 17th to go to phase three. Um, what are the... Uh, let, me, let me clarify that. On June 17th, we are uh, open to apply to submit okay. an application. Okay. So, that's when the, the, the first state in which Thurston County can apply because we were given, uh, and there's a three uh, uh, week waiting period uh, for counties that are in phase two before they can apply to phase three. All right, so that June 17th date is just based on three weeks from when we went to Right, phase and uh, whether they give us the, the approval soon after is yet to be seen, but June 17th is the first day that we can apply. Do you think we're at risk in going backward at this point? I know there's been a few more cases, especially over the weekend. Um, what is it looking like? Uh, do you think we might go to back, back to phase one? with, with those what, we, what, what you're referring to, we had a, a, what we call uh, a two outbreaks in congregated facilities. And okay. we have one assisted living as well as uh, an adult family home. Uh, the adult family homes is a smaller group. The assisted living facility is a larger uh, group. Um, our strike team from public health, as soon as we learn of a potential um, uh, contact, we tested um, close to 201 residents as well as the staff on those facilities. And so far, as you've seen, as you stated, we have seen a spike on those cases and those are mainly related to that to the facility, to those two facilities. So we continue to work on that. Um, I think we're implementing isolation and quarantine uh, measures. Um, but outside of those facilities, we continue to have uh, low cases. Okay. To, uh, to answer your question, whether we have the risk of, um, of going back, there's always a risk. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and what we're trying to do is managing uh, that risk, do the best that we can really uh, from the county's point of view, from the health, uh, uh, public health point of view, but it really requires also uh, our citizens uh, to be part of the solution. Mm -hmm. And uh, and that's really is, is, is a community-based approach as to how we're gonna be successful, not just now in phase two, and perhaps in phase three and phase four, as they may be come, up, come along along the way. Okay. Well, Dr. Yu issued a directive to wear a face mask. And uh, can you elaborate on, on what are the requirements and um, is this something that people could get a misdemeanor fine for? What, how does it work? Yeah, uh, the, the health officer um, has um, under state law, and I can probably give you the, uh, the revised code of Washington 7.0. I'm going to read this <laughs> so I don't get it wrong. Okay, 7. go ahead. 7.0, uh, 05. 070, and that is statute gives the uh, the independent authority for the health officer to implement any uh, public health related matters, and also the Washington Administrative Code Title 246-100036 also uh, complements uh, the the authority the, the uh, health officer has to provide again public health directives. 
that's what she did uh, last uh, last week, and it was just on the heels of um, of uh, having approved to phase two. It's just making sure it is an attempt for her to make sure that all of us are part of this solution uh, moving forward. Mm -hmm. uh, because just moving into you know um, phase two, uh, we needed to ensure that we don't get too complacent as citizens. Mm -hmm. and, and, and wearing masks, obviously, that is not protecting uh, 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 an individual to get the virus. That's not the intent. It really is, is the protection to others. Right. Yeah, and, and, and minimizing the spread of droplets, as, as we call it. So you ask about the, um, the enforcement. This is not an enforcement order. Uh, it is very clear on the order that Dr. Yu um, stated. And this really is a tool for a, uh, uh, an education tool. And I know that we have received a lot of um, feedback in terms of if it's an order, why it's not enforceable, because we trust on our citizens to be part of the game of, of how we're gonna be moving forward. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I believe uh, most of us are willing to do our part in wearing uh, 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 face coverings uh -huh. in order to not just protect others, but um, also protect moving forward. And these are just cloth masks or bandanas. It's not necessarily N95 or anything deluxe. No, and, it, and in fact, it is encouraged not to get any medical grade maskings. Uh, what is N95, mm -hmm. so surgical masks, because those are in a, in a great demand, as right. you know, and we need to make sure that whatever uh, stock that we have on those masks are specifically assigned to the healthcare providers in the first responders. And that is the key um, because it will not be effective nor we have all the, um, the supplies in place for all the citizens to wear those masks. So it is encouraged to have cloth maskings, um, it's covers you, you, you have you know, the bandana type of situation or oh, there's a lot of uh, interest in designs that I have seen in terms of uh, cloth masks that are coming into the market as well. Yeah, I know it's a, a fashion thing. Well, yeah. Make sure you order the right design for your face, <laughs> match your eyes, I guess. Um, so I want to just congratulate you guys at the, at the county because we only have 157 as of yesterday. Uh, yeah, cases, I have the, uh, yeah, 157. Mm -hmm. And then one death still. So we're, it, it's still one death, but mm -hmm. uh, I, and, and thank you for bringing that up. Um, and that is, if you look at the, uh, uh, the State Department of Health, uh, right, now, right now they're listing two uh, that's for Thurston County. Oh, and it was, uh, and, and, and it, 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 we need to um, uh, resolve that because the um, the recent death that occurred last week, it was an individual who acquired the virus, but not necessarily uh, the cause of death was related to that. He had um, other underlying conditions. I see. Um, okay. Yeah. So we need to resolve that. So as as far as uh, we, uh, the county is, uh, uh, we're tracking the data. We only have one uh, COVID related death in the county, 157 uh, total so far, in which uh, out of the 157, uh, as of today, 130 have already recovered or mm -hmm. in the process of recovering. And, uh, and within that context, out of the 157, 20 has gone through a hospital. They're not in the hospital right now, but they have gone through the hospital process. I see. So, um, and that is the, um, uh, the latest in, in the numbers. Excellent. Well, thanks so much for taking the time to be here. Is there uh, anything else you'd like to discuss or bring up? Anything we didn't talk about? No, I'd just like to uh, make a, a plea uh, to um, plead to the citizens. Um, uh, the, we are all in this together. And I believe um, in, a, in a very difficult situation that, we're, that, that we are and the sacrifices that we have made so far, I think it, it, it would require a little bit of resilience from our part to continue with this process, to continue to this process to open our economy. And that is a, 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 a main objective, but also protecting the health of our citizens. And, and because that is, is in tandem, is parallel to each other. We cannot just concentrate on the on 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 the health aspects. We have done that already uh, for the last two months. We have done a, an excellent job, I believe, in in reducing the cases and 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 bring the 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 um, the virus in a way somewhat of a flatten the curve. 
you've heard that term mm -hmm. many, many, many times. But right here, what is in front of us is, is moving forward on a systematic way that we're going to be successful um, in, the, in the months to come. OK. Well, thanks for all you do, and thanks for being on the show. I appreciate the opportunity, Robert. We're all in this together. Please wear a mask when in public so we can keep the number of COVID-19 infections down and be eligible to apply for Phase 3 on June 17th. And go to thurstoncountywa.gov for the latest information. That's all we have for you today. Tune in next time for more updates. Again, if you have any questions or suggestions for something we should cover, send an email to rkam at tcmedia.org. Stay home, stay updated with Thurston Community Media, and stay safe, Thurston County.